Welcome everyone. So in this video we're gonna speak about seven principles and seven ways of lean. Another helpful piece of content that helps you dispel the myth about lean not being applicable in software delivery is work that Mary and Tom Papendick did to take the seven principles and wastes of lean and translate them into software development. So in this video we'll identify and describe the seven principles and wastes of lean as they pertain to software development. One of these principles is eliminating waste, which is making sure that you are not coding more features than needed. You're minimizing handoffs and really not producing anything that is of low or no value. This also means making sure that you are making decisions at the right time. Sometimes organizations will delay decisions, waiting on additional information and worrying about being wrong. That's why it's more important to make progress and start learning versus trying to be precise. The second principle is building quality in, and this is tied also to the Deming quote, quality is everyone's responsibility. This principle is about making sure that you have quality built into the product and into the process. The third principle is creating knowledge, which is also known as amplifying learning. This is really where lean software delivery differs from the manufacturing industry. Development is constant learning. We know that there are going to be issues and we need to learn from them and make adjustments. Feedback loops are extremely important to address this principle. The fourth principle is differing commitment which is about making sure that decisions are made at the right time after analysis and considerations have been made. Delaying decisions can be valuable exercise because it allows you the time to gather more information before committing to something. This is not intended to contradict what I said earlier. Both types of decision making are important. You need to balance paralysis with timeliness of decision making. You know there is the concept of one-way door and two-way door decision making. If it's a one-way door, meaning you can't come back, then the criticality of having analysis and information is different, versus a two-way door meaning you can come back through. In a two-way door decision making scenario, the behaviors I described earlier apply. Making progress is more important and enables faster learning. The fifth principle is deliver fast. The idea of delivering fast is really to ensure that feedback is received early and often, to allow of course corrections in development, and if you use smaller batches, you should be able to deliver faster, which will allow you to gather feedback at an increasing rate. The sixth principle is respecting people. People are at the center of DevOps and Lean. If you aren't practicing that, then it typically falls apart. I believe passionately that people are an organization's number one asset, even though organizations don't behave that way. The final principle is called optimizing the whole. This is a systems thinking approach. You want to make sure that you are not doing a local sub-optimization and that you are optimizing for the entire system. So those are the seven principles of Lean as applied to software development. Mary and Tom Poppendick do a good job of encapsulating all the major DevOps principles in an easy way to understand framework. But they went further and then translated Lean 7 Wastes into a more applicable version for software development as well. So let's discover these 7 Wastes. First, we have partially done work. So code that is completed but not checked into the repository and documented code and tested code or code that's not yet in production. This is a problem because this is delaying the delivery of value. In the case of undocumented code, this will likely lead to quality issues or delays and resolution of issues. The second is extra features. It's like if you're building more than what your customer needs, then that is waste because ultimately no one will end up using it at all. The third waste is relearning or revisiting decisions. If you are having a situation where you have to resurface the decision or information, then that is considered wasteful. Fourth is handoffs, which is pretty straightforward. You don't want to have a lot of handoffs in your value stream, because each time you do, 
A new team has to orient themselves to the work and what's done before. This creates delays. So it's best to minimize the number of handoffs. Speaking of delays, the fifth way is in fact delays. So that includes anything where you're waiting on someone or some part of the process before continuing. The time it takes for code to compile could be classified for a delay. For example, if you're waiting and there are delays, then that is keeping you from delivering value as efficiently as possible. The sixth waste is task switching. This comes up a lot in DevOps, where people are getting context switched or interrupted and they can't finish their work. Research has demonstrated over and over again that task switching, often referred to as multitasking, is the enemy of all productivity in software development or otherwise. I think it's really only recently that people are questioning multitasking as a benefit. The seventh and final waste is defects. Again, quality needs to be built into the product from the beginning. Any defect is considered waste, as ultimately it will create a situation where your customer will not use your product, and if rework is required that is keeping the team from delivering more value. So those are the seven principles and ways of Lean as they apply to software development. Again, credit to Mary and Tom Poppendick for translating these concepts to something relatable to our industry. I highly recommend leveraging these translations as you introduce DevOps and Lean into your organization. Having a common vocabulary and definition is helpful as you transition to this new way of getting work done. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit the bell for more interesting content and thanks for watching.